let's move on to Texans, Jaguars. Texans are most likely going to be my survivor pick. It's a strange year for survivor pools. You know, we're, what, week nine, and there'd be no major upsets. So pretty much everybody's still good. There is a weather issue, not a big issue because it's in Jacksonville, but 78 Fahrenheit rain and 17 mile per hour winds. So that does give you food for thought. Texans opened up at minus six. They're at six and a half at some books, and others at seven. I don't see how this isn't a double up spot. This total at 51, down to 15 and a half or 50. I think the Jaguars team total under. Now, maybe I'm disrespecting their new quarterback, and we'll break them down. Both teams coming off buys, and maybe that's another. Texans coming off their bye week. We last saw them using, or sorry, losing their second straight game under Cornell, 35-20 loss at home to the Packers. Their top cornerback, Bradley Roby, he left with a knee injury, and Devontae Adams just completely took advantage. Cornell said he didn't think it was a serious injury. He's listed as questionable. Packers were up 21-0 at the half. Texans did a little bit to come back. I was on the over in that game, and I lost. And I thought I was going to still cash, even though it was Texans hadn't scored at the half. Watson, 309 yards, two touchdowns, four straight game with 300 yards. David Johnson does not look good. 14 carries for 42 yards against the Packers. A Packers team that can't defend the run. This is a huge problem for the Texans. So they can't move the ball on the ground. And they forced Deshaun Watson to do everything. A linebackers, Kyle Emanuel and Peter Kalambayi. This is questionable. Tight end Jordan Atkins also this is questionable. Jaguars come off their bye, riding a six-game losing streak. We last saw them in 39-29 loss at the Chargers. They tied an NFL record by allowing 30 or more points in six consecutive games. Minshew, multiple fractures and a strained ligament in his right thumb. Won't be in the lineup. Starting job goes to 24-year-old rookie Jake Luton. Luton, six-round pick out of Oregon State. Beat out Mike Lennon for the job. That's a, I, I kind of wish it was Glennon just from a handicapping perspective because we don't really know what Luton is going to do. As it more than he's marginally better than Mike Glennon. Yeah, there's more of an upside with him. I don't know if he's better. I don't. I if in one game I don't think he's better. But he no, actually, you know what? He he might even be worse because this this I don't know this screams tank right now. Agreed. This screams Trevor Lawrence. This screams I'm trying to get Trevor Lawrence, but I can't because the Jets have that on lock. So we're looking at uh, Justin Fields. Yeah, who is going to be very, very good. Luton threw for 5,020, 27 yards, 42 touchdowns over three years. Still, that Oregon State team in 2019 was 5-7. and seven. Sidney Jones, against the Chargers, Sidney Jones, their cornerback left with a concussion. He's listed as questionable. D.D. Westbrook, I mean, they turned the cameras away. They didn't want you to see. It It was a – if any of you guys – I mean, I I still go back to this. I know it's wrong for, but I still go back to Alexander Mogilny breaking his leg as a – you know, right after his – a couple years after his 76-goal season, and they didn't want you to see. He was on Buffalo, and the the cameras were – it was so hideous. It was that kind of a thing with D.D. Westbrook. Uh, Linebacker Dakota Allen did not return after an ankle injury. He's questionable. Uh, Miles Jack, Jared Wilson, A.J. Can, and Tyler Eifert all listed as questionable. Uh, Bebsy, this has Texans written all over it. Yeah, it's a lot of points, and it's a bit of – for me, it's a bit of unknown. Obviously, we don't know anything about Luton. I I never fucking heard about this guy before today. Uh, So – I, I'm scared at just how bad this Houston football team is, especially on defense, especially in the passing game. So not that I think that this guy can tear them up. I'm just not – I'm not as excited about it as you. Can we get a first half look here? Definitely. Definitely, because that would be another thing I'd want to take advantage of. Let's see. Uh, this feels like a double up spot. Now, is this a square double up spot where I'm going to get hurt? Uh, that'd be the only thing I'm concerned about. But I'm not that concerned about it because the Texans have to win this game. Jobs are on the line. I Crinell 
was studying all about jobs. They already fired their coach. They're already looking for another guy. They Bruno wants his spot. Does he? Does Romeo want that now? I mean, does he know where he is right now? I don't know. He's a thousand years old. He's probably fine just, you know, sticking to his thing. You, I don't know if he wants to be in the spotlight at this point. I don't know if there's that much urgency with Houston. The only thing that's going going for that look is the fact that they don't have any picks anyways because Bill O'Brien gave them all away for a jar of cookies. <laughs> real real jolly Roger, Roger says Houston replaces a bad coach with a terrible head coach uh, Birdie has a very interesting point here he said did anyone see Watts presser after the last game the Texans will D will respond Watt was embarrassed they will respond it was interesting he was as angry as we've seen him because usually you know he likes to be in the spotlight now he was just angry uh, this is a double up spot for me uh, Texan smash I need what, to get in before it gets seven and a half. What's the uh, first half? Let me line chop for you here. First half spread. This is an odds.com's odds page here. And let's see what I can give you. Texans, first half. There's a best is at Bet Rivers, minus three and a half and minus 113. See, to me, Bebsy, this is not a look ahead spot. This is not a bad – these are two one and six teams going at each other, and that's why I love the Texans. I'm not acting like it's a look-ahead spot. It's you're, – you're, they're two one and six teams for a reason. They're two shitty teams, and one team has a little bit a little bit more talent, and that's only because the other team's talent is currently on the shelf. So – Yeah, no, that's fair. It, it doesn't excite me like it does you. The first half does a little bit more because I think this Luton kid could take a little time to get adjusted to the game. Minus three and a half and minus 113 at Bet River. Is that what you want? Yeah, I'll hop in there. But I'm not uh, I'm not as bullish on this game as you are. You know, Bebsy, also, you have a very exciting life. This is all I've got. So I'm going to... Do I have an exciting life? Well, not right now because of COVID. But if, if COVID was near, nobody has an exciting life right now. All right, uh, I'm also, doubling up. I'm trying to take a month off drinking. You know how much no fun I'm having right now. I know, I know. I can sort of hear it in your voice. Also, you could probably hear that I've had a drink, so that's probably going to upset you a little more. Hey, got got to clean it out. I hear you. So, Bebsy on the uh, sober November. I think these shows are going to – it'll be interesting to watch this happen because you're only three days in. Yeah, I mean, I'm probably going to get hammered by the weekend, but <laughs> – <laughs> Okay, right, let's, days in. 